This is how you do the asymmetrical left side, right side of face twins effect in Photoshop. All right, so before we get started, I just wanna make sure you know that for this effect to work properly, you need a picture where the person is facing as straight forward as possible, like this example. Now, if they have a slight like lean on their head or whatever, that's not a big deal, we can fix that, but they have to be looking straight into the camera if possible. So for example, this one of the rock, if I hide this, he was actually slanted just a little bit. You can tell by this ear and this ear, so he's slanted this way a bit. You can see that it can really distort the head and make it look quite different. But on the other end, if somebody's face is too perfect, like Taylor Swift's here, I'll show you the original picture, and then these are the left and right versions. If her face is too symmetrical, then it kind of ruins the effect because you don't have any difference between left or right. All right, so once you've picked your picture, the first thing you're gonna do is duplicate the image. So I'm gonna click on my background and go Command or Control J to make a copy. I'm gonna click on the original background and then I'm gonna go up to image and down to canvas size. We're just gonna double the width or close to it. So this is 4213. I'm just gonna go 8400 pixels, click OK. So that's gonna expand it out. And then you can see that the original image is still on there. I'm just gonna go edit, fill and contents. I'm gonna make sure it's black and click OK. Next, we're gonna drag in a ruler. So if you don't see your rulers, just go Command or Control R on your keyboard and that'll bring them in. Just click within the rulers and drag one to about the halfway point. So mine is 4200, so I'm gonna leave it right there. And then all we have to do is rotate our image to kind of line up along this midline. So I'm gonna click back on my image layer. I'm gonna go Commander Control T, and I'm just gonna pick the middle of the teeth. That's kind of where I usually start. So I'm just gonna click on my image and drag it over a little bit. So that was obviously too far. I'm gonna try and get the teeth. Maybe I'll use the arrow keys instead to kind of nudge it into place. So I wanna get that, the middle of the teeth right on that line. Then I'm gonna go up to this little box right here, which is a reference point. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna drag it to that exact same spot. So right there. Now I'm gonna zoom out. So command and control minus, and I'm gonna go up here to the outside of my free transform and I'm just gonna rotate it. Now, right now it's rotating around that reference point. That's why I put that there so I can have that lined up perfectly and then I can kind of look between the eyes like right here along the nose and make sure the rest of it's good. When you're good, when you have it lined up nicely along that line, then just click check. And now we're ready to make our left and right twins. So to do that, we're gonna duplicate our image layer. So Command and Control J again to make a copy. This one, we're gonna double click in here and call right. And on that one, all we're gonna do is go to our rectangular marquee tool and on the right side over here, on her right side, we're gonna make a box. So click outside the canvas and go all the way to that line. Once you have that, then just go over here to the mask, click on this little box with a little circle in it, add a layer mask. Now, you're not gonna see anything because we also have to hide our main image layer right here, so we're gonna hide that. Then we're just gonna take this one with our move tool, and we're gonna click and drag it over to the side, then simply go Command or Control J to make another copy, and then just head up to Edit, down to Transform, and then flip horizontal. That's gonna make us a copy. Then all we have to do on that one is click on it and use our arrow keys to kind of nudge it into place. So just keep going slowly until that line in the middle disappears. Now all we have to do is click on one of them, hold Command or Control, click on the other one so both sides of the face are selected. Then we're gonna go Command or Control J to make a copy of both, click it and drag them both over to the other side. Right now, I would name these, so I'm gonna double click on this one and call it left and left copy, so we know that that's the other one. And then all you have to do is click on the mask and go Command or Control I to invert it, and then on the other one for left, Command or Control I to invert that one. It might line up perfect, but what I would suggest is making sure you click on one of them and use your arrow keys. So I'm on the right side here. 
just separate them and then bring them back together to make sure that they line up nicely. But just so you know, you can still make further adjustments to your images as well by either bringing each side of the face closer together, separating them a little bit, or even rotating them, which I'm gonna do to this image right here just to show you as an example. Now, in order to do that, the first thing you have to do is unclick these chains. So unclick this one and unclick this one that separates the image from the mask. Then all we have to do is move these two in the opposite direction from each other. So if I click on this one and I use my arrow keys to nudge it, let's say one, two, three, four to the left, then on this one, I have to nudge it one, two, three, four to the right. So I'm gonna undo that and undo that. Same thing, if you wanna move it to the inside, then one, two, three to the middle, and maybe one, two, three to the middle. To rotate, just click on one of them and go Command or Control T, then rotate a little bit in the corner here, just so you can see the degrees. You don't wanna go like super crazy, obviously. So look up here in your degrees. I would start by going like maybe one and just seeing what that looks like and then check. Obviously go to the other one, Commander Control T, go to the outside, rotate it right up here to negative one and click check. You know, this looks okay, but maybe the eyes are too far apart now. So I might go back and use one of the other techniques. So I click on this one and go maybe one, two, three, four to the middle. And then this one, one, two, three, four to the middle. And there you go. That's our adjusted image. And finally, I'm going to show you how to fill in these gaps, just in case you want to keep like the left and right side image together as one. So the first thing we have to do is make sure those chains are all clicked back on. Then just click on one left copy hold command or control, click on the other one, and we're just gonna nudge it over a little bit to fill in this kind of middle gap. Then we're gonna do the same thing for the right side, click on one, hold command or control, click on the other one, and nudge it over so that they overlap a little bit right there. Then just click on your top layer, hold shift, and click on the bottom one of those four of your left and right copies, and then go command or control J to make a copy of all of them, Command and Control E to merge them together. Then just hide all of the other ones. So we just have this one image layer at the top left. Now all you have to do is use your polygonal lasso tool. So the third one down, if you don't see it, right click. You might be seeing lasso tool, go to polygonal lasso tool. And then you're just gonna make selections around each of these gaps. So I'm gonna click here, click here, click here, click up there. So that'll make a selection around this one. Then just go edit fill and change contents to content aware and click OK. And that'll fill in the gap. Then just repeat that for every other section that you have and that'll fill in all the gaps. For other face effect tutorials, make sure to watch one of the videos that's on the screen right now.